They are in the game. <laughs> and they're off at Saratoga. Welcome to Pink Sheet Insider. My name is David Johnson and I'm a sports writer at the Saratoga and the Pink Sheet. And next to me is columnist Michael Beach. Looking at the Midsummer Derby. It's the one we've been waiting for. Yes, it day. is. Um, and that is the 145th running of the Travers, a uh, mile and a quarter on the main track mm -hmm. for $1.25 million. Yeah, day. it's the second richest race at Saratoga. It ought to be the richest race. It's our signature race, but nonetheless, it's a great lineup. Absolutely. And uh, let's start with the, the early favorite, uh, Byron, coming off a huge win in the Haskell. I think he should be the favorite. The question for him is 10 furlongs. He is wickedly fast. I call him white hot for trainer Bob Baffert. He is the hottest thing in 3 year racing right now. And if he can take a 10 furlongs, he changes a lot of things if he goes all the way in the Travers. The Belmont Derby winner is Mr. Speaker, okay. And Mr. Speaker from Shug McGahee, one of the long, uh, long shots in this race, but he goes to dirt for trainer Shug McGahee in an attempt to really upset and scramble the division. And, uh, the Belmont Stakes winner in Tonal is second in the Jim Dandy. And keep in mind, this is kind of maybe my opinion of it, I think for him the Jim Dandy was a legitimate prep coming out of the Belmont Stakes. I think he'll move forward in the Travers. But all the same, Wicked Strong, uh, with the blinkers on, did uh, you know, look much less that day. Oh, there's no question. A lot of things were cured by Jimmy Jerkins putting the, the blinkers on. He stopped the drifting out and looking around. He was a very solid winner of the Jim Dandy. No doubt that he can get the mile and a quarter, too. We have a wonderful lineup for this edition of the Travers. And uh, the past two years, uh, a long shot came and almost stole last year was Marino two years ago, uh, golden ticket. Um, yeah. Is there, who, who in this field do you think? Would have a shot at well, the, 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 a real long shot does intrigue me. It's from the Whitney stables, and it's called Viva Mahorka. Um, his speed figures aren't huge, but I have to tell you, he was in the Curlin, and he was striding out really big in the Curlin stakes, won by VE Day, also from Jerkins. Um, if you're looking for just that real fun long shot play, you might give him a try. Absolutely. All right, well, nothing to do now, but wait and see uh, for race time. Indeed.